Hey guys, Clay May here. In this video I'm going to walk you through how to install Reshade for Max Payne 2 as well as a quicker solution using my Graphic Enhancement Pack. If you've attempted to install Reshade using Max Payne widescreen fixes or other mods in the past, you've likely had issues due to a number of file conflicts. If you don't own the game and you want to follow this tutorial, get it for just £3 from the link in the description. A big, big thanks to everyone who has shared the love. The passion you have for these games inspires me to only get better, so please subscribe. Also tell me which of your favourite games you'd like me to enhance now in the comments section and I'll add them to my list. Think about the classic games you played as a kid, they don't have to be popular and I'll make sure to deliver. This video will cover three different setups which fix typical Max Payne reshade issues and you decide which of these setups best suit you. Setup 1. Installing reshade with Payne Evolution and widescreen fix to ensure your game does not appear stretched. This does not include my graphic enhancements as seen in previous trailers. Setup 2. A two minute installation of my graphic mod, link in the description, which includes tweaks needed for reshade to work with widescreen fix, plus your game will look like this. This includes gamepad support and the option for over the shoulder camera. And lastly, installing reshade with no modifications or widescreen fix, although I do not recommend this option as your game will appear stretched on newer screen resolutions. In all cases, back up your Max Payne directory just in case you have any compatibility issues. Setup 1. Max Payne 2 is a very old game and uses DirectX version 8. Reshade, however, requires DirectX version 9 for it to work. Luckily, there is a module available which offers a solution. Visit this website, the link is in the description, and download the file called d3d8.dll. Locate your local Max Payne 2 installation directory. You'll see your Max Payne 2.exe file in here and copy and paste the d3d8.dll file you've just downloaded in this folder. Next, we will install the Payne Evolution mod, which will modernize gameplay mechanics and models in game. Most importantly, this also comes with the widescreen fix. For this, you'll need to visit the moddb.com website, link in the description, and click on download now. Once downloaded, extract all files to your Max Payne 2 installation folder. Replace any files if asked, but again, back up your original folder. Alternatively, if you don't want Payne Evolution mod, but you need to download the widescreen fix, you can also get that from the moddb.com website, link in the description. And the installation is the same, extract all files to your Max Payne 2 installation folder. In order for the widescreen fix to work, it contains its own DirectX 9 DLL file. However, Reshade also requires its own DirectX 9 file to work. For now, let's temporarily rename the widescreen fix d3d9.dll file. To do this, we will add .bk at the end of file or anything else you prefer. This is just so that we can install Reshade without overriding this file. And we will remove the .bk once Reshade is installed. And finally, let's download Reshade. Visit the following website, reshade.me, link in the description, and download the latest version. Once downloaded, open Reshade, you'll be asked to select your game. If it's not on the list, select the browse button and find your game. And select DirectX 9. Next, you'll be asked to install your packages. For the sake of convenience, go through the list and select all packages and then select OK. Reshade will then download the files for each shader and for each package you will need to confirm download by selecting OK. If you go back to your Max Payne directory you will see that Reshade has created its own d3d9.dll file. Next we need to configure Reshade to work alongside the widescreen fix. To do this we will select all Reshade files and move them to the scripts folder. Select the following three files d3d9.dll, reshade.ini, and the reshade hyphen shaders folder. Cut and paste or move them to the scripts folder. Now let's rename reshade d3d9.dll to reshade.asi 
with a capital R and a capital S. The global.ini file within this folder will also conflict with reshade, so let's hide it. For this, create a folder entitled hide, then simply drag and drop the global.ini file in here. Go back to the main Max Payne directory and rename the d3d9.dll to its original name, but without the .bk. And start the game. If correctly installed, Reshade will notify you top left of screen that it has been installed successfully. And the red notification error just means that certain effects aren't compatible with Max Payne 2, which is fine. As mentioned earlier, the mouse cursor will not work for Reshade when installed for Max Payne 2, so you'll have to configure this using the following keyboard shortcuts. Control plus Shift to navigate tabs, Space to select a tab, left and right arrow keys to configure settings, and escape to go back to previous step. If this is too much work, I'd recommend downloading my modification which has Reshade already hacked to work with widescreen fix and with graphics already enhanced. So I'm going to walk you through the quick setup for this right now. Setup number two, installing my graphic enhancements to work with widescreen fix and pain evolution mod. Now, if you've already installed Pain Evolution or Widescreen Fix, please skip chapter number 2A and move forward to chapter number 2B. First, we will install the Pain Evolution mod, which will modernize gameplay mechanics and models in game. Most importantly, this also comes with the Widescreen Fix. For this, you'll need to visit the moddb.com website, link in the description, and click on Download Now. Once downloaded, Extract all files to your Max Payne 2 installation folder. Replace any files if asked, but again, back up your original folder. Alternatively, if you don't want Payne Evolution mod, but you need to download the widescreen fix, you can also get that from the moddb.com website, link in the description. And the installation is the same. Extract all files to your Max Payne 2 installation folder. With Payne Evolution or widescreen installed, First, test the game to ensure it works. Next, open up my graphic enhancement mod folder. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you'll find a link in the description. Open the DirectX 8 to 9 folder. Select all files inside and copy and paste them into your Max Payne directory, replacing all files if asked. Go back to my mod folder, select the scripts folder and copy and paste it into your Max Payne directory replacing all files if required. Next, open the scripts folder in your Max Payne directory. You'll see a folder named place global ini file here. Follow that instruction and select the global.ini file and place it in that folder. Head back to your Max Payne root directory and start the game. Within the setup screen, select options and turn off anti-aliasing to ensure reshade's depth buffer works. Also, uncheck the mirror effect to avoid depth buffer conflicts on certain levels. Once configured, hit play and enjoy Max Payne 2 Remastered. You gotta get me out of this! Your place of mine, huh? <laughs> And last of all, for those who don't mind having a stretched game screen, step 3, installing Reshade without widescreen fix or any other mods. First, visit this website, the link is in the description, and download the file called d3d8.dll. Locate your local Max Payne 2 installation directory. You'll see your Max Payne 2.exe file in here and copy and paste the d3d8.dll file you've just downloaded in this folder. Next, let's download Reshade. Visit the following website, reshade.me, link in the description, and download the latest version. Once downloaded, open Reshade. You'll be asked to select your game. If it's not on the list, select the Browse button and find your game. Then select Direct 3D9. Next, you'll be asked to install your packages. For the sake of convenience, go through the list and select All Packages, and then select OK. Reshade will then download the files for each shader, and for each package, you will need to confirm download 
by selecting OK. With DirectX compatibility and reshade installed, start up Max Payne 2. Within the setup screen, select Options and turn off anti-aliasing to ensure reshade's depth buffer works. Also, uncheck the mirror effect to avoid depth buffer conflicts on certain levels. Once configured, hit play. If correctly installed, reshade will notify you top left of screen that it has been installed successfully. And the red notification error just means that certain effects aren't compatible with Max Payne 2, which is fine. As mentioned earlier, the mouse cursor will not work for reshade when installed for Max Payne 2. So you'll have to configure this using the following keyboard shortcuts. Control plus shift to navigate tabs, space to select a tab, left and right arrow keys to configure settings and escape to go back to previous step. If this is too much work, I'd recommend downloading my modification, which has reshade already hacked to work with widescreen fix and with graphics already enhanced. If this is of interest to you, I've provided all details in setup number two. And those are my three options to set up reshade with Max Payne 2. If these have been of help, please, please confirm in the comments section, because for those who may have difficulty, I'd like them to know that it does indeed work. Also, for those who still are unable to get this to work, let me know in the comments section. But remember, if you can't get Reshade to work or if you can't get Max Payne 2 to work with Pain Evolution Mod or Widescreen Fix, then you won't get my graphic enhancements to work. So be sure to search on Google Alternative Reshade Configurations, but still let me know in the comments your issues and I'll try to help where I can. Just to keep you in loop, I have new remasters in progress, so do make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.